Hello everyone. We have been looking into the pull-up scenario where um, uh, initial state of a pin is plus 5 and when you push the button the state will goes to go to ground okay so actually this is how the circuit will look like i am showing it in a simulation environment because i am going to do a demonstration on the scenario so initially uh, just think about this resistor that is connected to plus 5 and that is going to the <coughs> pin number 2 that is the input pin so initially since there is no current is running so plus 5 will be the pin's value that means high will be the value or in other words 1 will be the value high 1 plus 5 volt all are same right so now if the button is being pressed so you can see a button is connected to the same point and the button's other side is going to the ground okay so if the button is being pressed okay what will happen this ground connection will be directly connected to from here to here and coming here and going to the pin so then this side will be plus 5 this side will be ground and the resistor will handle the voltage difference and uh, obviously the pin will move to ground ground or zero or low okay so in the pull up scenario if the button is not pressed uh, the value is high and if the button is pressed the value will become low excuse me guys so you know that right so as i said okay i asked you okay everything is fine index pin mode 2 is input because that is the digital input pin i'm connecting an led pin mode 7 we are good and we have a serial begin we don't need it so i am removing it and in the void loop we read the value right we read, read the pin number 2 and assign it to x okay because we have already said x and what we are supposed to do is when we press the button we should switch on an led okay that is connected to let's say pin number 7 okay and uh, with the resistor connected and also it is going to the ground minus side is going to the ground that is a separate circuit right so if, when we press the button <coughs> the led should be on when you release the button the led should go off so in the from the picture you can say what will happen when i press the button the pin state will become ground right when i release the button the pin state will become plus 5 okay so when i want the switch to be on when i press the button so when i press the button what is the pin state ground when i release the button it is plus 5 okay so only when i press the button i want it to be switched on so when the pin is ground state or low or zero I want the LED to switch on. Okay, let's check it out. So LED switch on means LED is to the pin number seven. You can see it here. Okay, okay. What is happening here? Okay, LED is connected to the pin number seven through a resistor. That's nice. Oh, how can I bring it down? I don't know. No, is there a way to? No, I don't know, man. Okay, let's keep it this way. This is fine. I am seeing if there is a cursor so that I can bring this thing down or up but it looks like I'm not seeing anything okay so maybe there's something okay let's keep it this way <coughs> right so uh, when the button is pressed zero okay when the button is pressed that means pin state is zero or ground LED should be on okay that is connected to pin number seven so let's see so x is the input value so x is zero LED should be on right so here what is happening x is one we are checking okay one means what the button is not pressed initial state okay so that's state i have written, written written the led to be on see digital write servant high so this is wrong when the button is pressed only led should be high so button is pressed means what x is equal to zero okay because you know this right when you press the button uh, the input will become zero then only i want the led to be on so i have to change the if condition and I'm making the condition check to be zero that means the button is pressed x is zero digital write led digital write servant high then else else mean what x is one there's no other way okay else mean what x is one because x can ha take only two scenarios because it is digital input it can it can go for either zero or one so if the if a, if condition is checking zero the else will obviously have the one or uh, nothing else so one mean but the button is not pressed or button is released so at that time we want the led to be switched off so it is low here okay so this is totally fine but when it comes to pull down it should be the other way around right the condition check right you understand that excuse me guys 
excuse me guys so the void loop is repeating so nothing is wrong so i hope you understood the code so i will quickly compile and i will do a quick demonstration so i hope you understood the scenario right but i was explaining i'm not uh, getting deep into this because i have been explaining this kind of scenarios for now since i mean for so many videos up to now so i'm not <coughs> uh, <coughs> i'm sorry guys repeating everything again and again that may you know make you a little bit bored sometimes okay so let it compile uh, okay done compiling is finished so i'm copying the code and i'm pasting it in the simulation environment okay okay i will start the simulation and let's see what happens let's go for a small zoom nothing wrong okay small zoom okay a little bit more small zoom now i am not pressing the button okay so that means the input is input to the particular pin is now what this way that means plus 5 that means x is 1 the input is 1 so input is 1 means where the else part okay i can remove the comment we don't need it actually else part is uh, i cannot type it now i think i am in, during the simulation scenario so i will stop the simulation and remove this x okay now fine okay i will start the simulation now okay okay fine so now input is high so else part will work led is off digital right seven is low input is high mean x is one so else part is that x is zero only will be the if part that means switching on uh, input is low that means button is pressed and switch on is going to happen okay so let's see so i'm going to switch on the button if you want i can zoom it a little bit and see i have switched on so when i press the button now i am keep pressing it i didn't remove the mouse cursor or, or i mean i didn't release the mouse cursor yes yet I'm still pressing the mouse cursor. That means still the button is being pressed. I didn't take my hand off. That means low O0 is going to the pin number 2. So according to the if condition that you can see in the line number 11, LED is on. Now I will release the button. Then what will happen? Uh, this zero connection is not there. The resistor connection that means through 5 voltage will be going to pin number 2 that means x will become 5 voltage that means x will become high so x is the input x will become a 1 so 1's mean 1 mean the line number 14 there's an else condition that is checking any value that is except 0 so else condition will be getting into that uh, else condition will be implemented and led will be off because i have written digital write 7 low so i will remove it now okay i have taken my hand off you can see the led is going off it is happening a little slowly I think because of the simulation environment but in real life when you are pressing and taking your hand off immediately you will see the output when you take the hand off at the very moment LED will go off okay I will again do it I will press now I will release see this I will press I will release I will press LED is on release LED goes off see press LED is on release LED goes off so I can even go for a more zoom but I don't think I can see the LED here Oh, I don't know what is happening here. Okay, this is, I think this is okay. LED is visible now. Now I'm pressing, LED is on. You can notice the LED, right, even though it is half. I'm remo removing my hand, LED is going off. Maybe it is slow, but it is going off. In the real life, it will immediately go off. Don't worry. Pressing, on. Releasing, off. Pressing, on. Releasing, off. It's a little bit slow. But you can, you should create the same environment in the real, uh, same circuit in the real environment with the real push button and the resistors and LED and you will see immediately everything is working fine okay so this is what actually uh, pull up is about okay we will study further on the pull up but I think now you got some idea with the demonstration about the pull up okay so guys um, just rewatch the video if you don't understand anything and just consider subscribing us if you really enjoy the video or if you found it useful please consider subscribing us and follow me up in the next video I will catch you up there and uh, if you want to follow off us, uh, follow us. You can find uh, Nova Technologies in the Facebook, and you can follow the page. And also, yeah, that's it. And stay safe, guys. I will catch you up in the next video, guys.